Hey guys, welcome to Tony's How To's. In this video, I will show you how to use the whiteboard in Zoom. But before we start, hurry up and check out our latest offer just under this video. So let's get started. So first thing that we want to do here is we want to access whiteboard in Zoom. So you could go ahead and open this one via your web browser or the application itself. But for this video, let's just go ahead and open up Zoom, the application itself. Now from here, what you need to do is let's just create a new meeting here. Just to give you an example. Now from here, let's just wait for this to load up. But once it loads up, you'll be able to see this options here. Just see that the icons are seen here below. Now from here, we want to access whiteboard. So how do we access that? So in here, we have the share screen option. So what you need to do is you just click, need to click on share screen. And from here, you'll see an option that says whiteboard. So go ahead and choose whiteboard and just click on share. Now from here, whiteboard should be immediately load up into your page here or in your computer. Now, how do you use this? So by default, when you use whiteboard for the first time, you won't be able to do much because as you can see, the icons or the tool that I'm using right now, which is select, which by default, it selects things into your whiteboard. But in here at the left side, we have our other tools. So we have text, we have a draw, we have the stamp, we have the spotlight, we have the eraser and a lot more here. So in this case, since we selected select here, we are only able to select. So you have to use the correct tool for you to do things here on whiteboard. So in this case, like for example, if I want to draw something, I just need to click on the draw option or tool here. And as you can see, I'll be able to draw something into my board. Now in here, you could also change a few things like for example, the line width as well as the vanishing pen if you want to use that as well we have the highlighter if you want to use that so there's variations on the draw tool here now here in the stamp you'll be able to basically stamp so in this case if you want to add a thick here yeah i quit a check mark here if you want to add that we also have other variations with the stamp arrow as well and we have the cross arrow as well so in this case it's it adds stamps into your whiteboard. Now here we have the spotlight. So spotlight itself, as you can see, it's, it adds a spotlight. So as you can see, we have this uh, marker. So we have the, this red thing here. So it basically showcase that your your mouse is currently in this area. So that what that is what spotlight does. Now we also have the eraser tool here. So if you want to remove things from your whiteboard, so if you if you want to remove the stamps here, you could go ahead as well. Or if you want to remove this section here, you could go ahead and use that. Now we have the color. So if you want to change colors, you can go ahead and do that as well. Now here we have the undo and the redo. Now if you deleted something previously, you could basically just click on undo. It's going to basically undo the things that happened on your whiteboard. Now here we have the clear. So if you want to like clear your all your drawings, cl clear your drawings or clear viewer drawings. So you have the option to do that as well. Now here you also have the option that says save. So if you want to save this as PNG or PDF, like for future reference, you could go ahead and do that. Now, lastly, we have the select tool, which is in this case, the select tool that we were previously talking. In this case, we could basically move things that we added here on our board. As you can see, I was able to move this drawing here as well as this highlight here. I could also move that. Now from here, how do you actually use whiteboard? So there's no correct or wrong answer for this one. You can go ahead and be creative on how you want to use this one. So whiteboard is made for collaboration. There's no wrong way for you to use this one. Just basically start a meeting, start using it and uh, Hopefully that it, this will be able to actually help you with your meetings and talks. And that's about it. So thank you for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comment section. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, you could use the link in the description to subscribe. See you in the next video.